Some internet doctors are discouraging fruits because of fructose that worsens insulin resistance. I see you smiling, David. You want to take that one? It all depends on how you get your fruit is one comment I'd make. So fruit juice, because all of the sugars in a fruit get into your system so much faster, is not how we prefer that you take fruit in. So whole fruit is the key. Number two is if you don't have any fruit at all, this study was done in China where it's hard to get fruit. And so mostly rural Chinese population and part of the group, they gave a couple of servings of fruit per week and showed a dramatic reduction in diabetes in that group. So fruit is taken in the proper form. I like to think of it as being anti-diabetic. Dr. Bax says it's vegetables, 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 and some fruit fruits, preferably berries, to lower the glycemic impact while maximizing micronutrients. People have asked, they'll ask a little bit later, what does the doctor recommend? I think most of us tend to recommend more of something that may lean a little bit Mediterranean, but when I use that term, I get a little bit nervous because Mediterranean's got a whole lot of grapes in it and grape juice. It's also got a whole lot of grains in it. And I don't really recommend taking a lot of grapes or grains. In fact, when you start listening to David and to me, you start hearing over and over again that mantra about carbs in your diet can be a major risk factor. Often is because the major most common risk factor that we have as a population is an inability to properly metabolize those carbs. Guess what the major source of carbs for the vast majority of the population is? It's grains. And you hear, well, no, no, we want you to take whole grains. Look at the glycemic index of whole grain bread. Compare that to white bread and compare that to sugar. I get a little bit nervous about talking about a lot of grains. David, any comments, rebuttal? I agree with everything you said. It really boils down down to personalizing a nutrition prescription for folks. And it really does. With plant-based diet, all information disappeared for me in the last six months of plant-based diet. No oil, no nuts is mostly important. I don't exactly agree with that. Back with fructose, they say it causes higher hemoglobin A1C because of advanced glycation end products. I do have a comment about advanced glycation end products. Somebody else later on asks about hypertension, high blood pressure. You know, most doctors will say, that most high blood pressure is, quote, essential, end quote, high blood pressure. And that just means they don't know what caused it. Now, I've seen evidence, and I wouldn't argue with it, but I've seen evidence, and I know some have opinions that maybe most of that, quote, essential, end quote, high blood pressure is actually related to these advanced glycation end products, or AGE. What is AGE? Glucose binds to proteins. And that's called glycation. And those proteins can clog up some of the sensors in the kidneys. And those sensors, when impacted that way, appear to head towards hypertension. We say, well, gosh, advanced glycation end products, that's a very technical term. We don't know what those are, can't visualize them. We've all visualized them. Just anybody watching this channel, we all know the, by far the most common one, and it's hemoglobin A1C. It's hemoglobin glycated. Dr. Wright, any comments about this topic? I agree with everything you said and would add that a lot of the fructose research is really on the high fructose corn syrup products. And we know that those are associated with fatty liver issues, which directly affects insulin resistance. And so I think it's important on some of those articles to understand what are they talking about? Are they talking about whole fruit intake or are they talking about this modified high fructose corn syrup? It's a great point. You know, you hear studies, you hear research, you hear things quoted, you really sometimes often need to go back and find out what actually are they quoting? Because guys or reporters that are reporting these things don't really tend to think about the details.